Kick will never be as good as Twitch. Now, I know when I say that, y'all are going to think that I'm some sort of D1 hater, but just hear me out. In my honest opinion, I think that one of the biggest problems with Kick is how they marketed the entire platform. See, Kick was made to be a competitor of Twitch. A few things that they wanted to bring to the table compared to Twitch were a better TOS system where you wouldn't get banned for literally breathing, and a 95 5 creator revenue split compared to Twitch's 50 50 split. Those were the two things that Kick offered to the streaming market. But the problem here is that the streamers that were marketing kick aiden ross and train wrecks they would say that kick is basically twitch with no tos and people ran with that people hopped on kick and they started wilding out to show how powerful kick's tos system was aiden ross literally pulled up the hub on stream to show that he wouldn't get banned at all and what's even crazier is a few days later a streamer by the name of heel mike was literally getting that mw3 dome on live kick gave these streamers an inch and they took a whole 30 kilometers it's actually insane and what's even worse is that the bad publicity for kick streamers does not stop there. I feel like every week there's always a clip of a kick streamer that goes viral and it's never anything good. It's always something that sheds a negative light on the website. Right now there's a lot of streamers doing IRL streams on kick. If you don't know what that is, it's in real life streams. So basically just a person walking around the city or something like that and basically just streaming. But the problem with these kick streamers is that they're going out in public and they're just acting like a straight up nuisance for their audience. And what's sad is that there are so many good streamers on kick you got xqc your rage los polos and many others but these streamers are getting overshadowed by all the other bs streamers on kick who are just going out in public and doing the most for clout if there's one thing about kick they know how to pick up the degenerates and certified cornballs like aiden ross now i can't sit here and act like i wasn't watching aiden ross back in late 2020 2021 and a little bit into 2022 that man literally changed the entire streaming industry i remember i used to go to work and i would listen to his streams i wouldn't even watch them i would just listen to them because i thought it was just pretty sick man would have rappers on stream celebrities on stream and honestly i truly believe that if it wasn't for aiden a lot of streamers wouldn't be having these rappers or celebrities on stream nowadays so i would say aiden started like that whole wave of bringing like the mainstream onto i guess these streaming platforms but ever since aiden signed that kick deal that man has been on some pretty corny shenanigans like the time when he told one of his viewers to throw pee on one of his siblings for some bread like that's not even content that's just being straight up weird he doesn't know like live streaming is yeah no he knows what that is but he doesn't know who you are he watches f***ing lasan oh my god this is even him more oh, this is him. <laughs> boom or when he tried to convince the entire world that he was gonna have Kim Jong-un on stream, but he didn't have Kim Jong-un on stream. It was just a, a dookie impersonator. Now, I'm pretty sure it's obvious that, I mean, nobody in this world would have Kim Jong-un on stream, but that's not even the worst of kick streamers because you got streamers like Jack Doherty who are even worse. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick breakdown of Jack Doherty. He's basically just your typical LA influencer. Tons of chains, tons of money, and tons of screaming. Show us the pimple! Now, his streams usually consist of like him in a mansion with some OF girls, rappers, and some other streaming weirdos that we'll get to in a minute. But the thing about Jack's streams is that this man will instigate a fight all stream long just so he can get a viral clip, or he'll annoy somebody to the point where they want to fight him, then hide behind his security guard acting like he's the victim. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've all seen the clip by now of Jack's security guard punching a dude that was literally 10 times smaller than him. But the funny thing about this situation is that after Jack's security guard literally obliterated the guy, Jack ran to his sprinter van with his whole crew and basically told everyone in his chat to post the clip to TikTok using his hashtag Jack Doherty. Everyone, if you clip my streams on TikTok, you post my clips on TikTok, use hashtag Jack Doherty. And what's even crazier is that Jack literally started it. He called Karina Kopp an OnlyFans whore because she didn't want to do a stream with him while they were at a party. Karina, excuse me, I have a question. When do you be down to do a stream with me? Kick stream. Why not? Why not? Ego. No ego. Hell ego. Some of her friends pressed Jack because they saw the clip. Then one of the dudes got laid out by the security guard because of Jack. And then he's over there plugging his TikTok hashtag after a dude got laid out because of him. This man is literally the 6ix9ine of the streaming world. He's literally just another soulless clout fiend. But since we're talking about soulless clout fiends, let's talk about another kick streamer. Boozy Tube. This man was all over the internet a few months back having mental breakdowns, running into roads, and screaming at his team all because he wanted a kick deal. Acting like a whole man baby and the funniest part is that this man never got the kick deal. He ended up in a mental hospital 
hospital. Now note, FouseyTube hasn't streamed in like the past two months, but he did recently make an appearance on an Aiden Ross stream, basically saying that he's coming back soon. And also Aiden decided to give that man $100,000 when he was fresh out of a mental hospital. I'm gonna give you, it's not a loan, you don't have to pay me back, I'm giving uh, you $100,000. And if you thought that the bad publicity for Kick stopped there, trust me, it does not, because we got another streamer named Johnny Somali. Now, if you don't know Johnny Somali, basically his entire content is like him just, I guess, going into public and just disrespecting people. But what he got pretty big for was disrespecting people in Japan, a country with a completely different culture and completely different laws than the United States. This man literally went over to Japan and made fun of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, like it was just some, like, some funny joke Hiroshima Nagasaki Hiroshima Nagasaki you know what we do to you guys. Hiroshima Nagasaki we destroy it because you now luckily Johnny Somali hasn't streamed in the past month because he's being held by Japanese authority and the craziest part is that this man literally got warned so many times by the Japanese public that like yo like you gotta calm down this is in America you can't do this stuff here he would go out in public play loud sounds disrespect people but he just kept on going and going and now he's being held by Japanese authority but yeah it's just another bad apple on kick who's bringing negative publicity to the website another trend I've been seeing on kick is streamers fighting each other live not fake fighting that you do it like your homies or something real fighting recently there was this clip of this one streamer zerka and this guy named hs tiki taki fighting live on kick zerka pulled up on him and zerka got beat up by the guy and what's crazy is that that guy took the w in the fight but then a few days later he goes live on kick and goes into a freaking college lecture and tries to make a joke about i guess a woman being lesbian next to him i, I don't know just peep the clip excuse me miss uh, i don't feel i don't feel comfortable sitting here there's a lesbian next to me so i'm leaving oh my god oh, I'm, i don't feel comfortable sitting here there's a lesbian next to me so i'm leaving i didn't sign up for this shit i'm out oh fuck this environmental bullshit overall it was just unfunny like it, it was just corny to me and what's even crazier is that the same day that zerka and tiki taki fought another guy which you guys remember this name heel mike the guy who got the dome on live he also got jumped that exact same day and a few weeks prior to that heel mike got into two fights while he was in vegas for twitchcon there's all these kick streamers like bringing publicity to the site and having all these viral clips but my question is is this the right publicity it's not a good look when you have your streamers out in public harassing random people fighting other streamers and getting arrested in completely different countries all just for a viral clip like it just doesn't make sense to me overall it just makes all the streamers on kick look messy even though it's only like five to ten people who are doing these things their clips are getting more viewership than like somebody who's i guess just streaming on kick so i mean it is publicity for the website but in my honest opinion it just doesn't seem like the right publicity but yeah tell me what you guys think below like what's your guys thoughts on kick right now and like where do y'all think kick will be in like the next two to three years but yeah this is gonna wrap up the video if you guys made it this far i appreciate you if you guys enjoyed this video then i highly recommend you guys check out my video on how streamers ruin gaming but yeah with all that being said this is gonna wrap up the video thank you guys for watching it's cameron and i'm out